All right, Wayne Allen Root with Bill O'Reilly. You can always find his detailed insights and wisdom at BillOReilly.com. Great website. Go check it out. In the meantime, the weekend is over, and it's time for O'Reilly. O'Reilly time. Hey, Bill, how are you? All right, Wayne. Thanks for having me back. Always uh, enjoy having you back. I wanted to get what you thought about the George Stephanopoulos Donald Trump interview on ABC TV. A lot of people were wondering, as I was, you, you know, I was Columbia University, class of 83. Guess who my classmate was? George Stephanopoulos. And I, why would Trump do an interview with someone who's out to get him? Why would you ever want to be in, in sitting in a studio with George Stephanopoulos? Don't you think that was a bit of a mistake in the first place? Well, I wouldn't have done it, um, but I devote some time to this in uh, the United States of Trump, my upcoming book on the president. And in his mind, the interview with Stephanopoulos is a challenge. So he likes the, a <laughs> challenge. He likes that. Stimulates him. So he wants to win <laughs> Stephanopoulos over, all right, by using Trump logic. So. I myself have talked to him about this, not, not only for the book, but also in my conversations with him. And I said, look, these guys hate you, not because of you, it's because if they don't hate you, their constituency, the people who watch them and right. the management of their operations will take reprisals against them. So it's not about you personally. It's a business deal. And the business deal is they have to make you look bad. I don't know if he's believing that, Donald Trump. I, I don't know if he's believing that. Well, let me ask you about the actual question uh, he asked Donald Trump about, you know, uh, gossip from foreign governments about bad guys running against Trump or whether someone's bad or not. Was it a fair question in the first place or was it a gotcha question? I think all questions to presidents are fair if they're respectful. I don't have any trouble with Stephanopoulos' questions. Um, you know, if he wants to go down that lane about, okay, uh, a foreign government is dangling some stuff in front of a presidential candidate, what's your responsibility? I, I think that's a legitimate line of questioning. But it's the snarky, you know, facial expression, body language stuff that I think most viewers object to. And you get that plenty with Stephanopoulos. I wish Trump had picked up on, you know, what I thought immediately when I heard the question was the right answer would be, well, Hillary did it and Obama did it. Clearly, they used foreign dirt to spy on me and get a FISA award. That would have been the perfect answer on national TV, right? Yeah, I mean, but you can't second guess uh, the president, he, he spent a long time with Stephanopoulos. Maybe his guard was down. Maybe he was tired. The right. interview was, you just saw the edited interview. You didn't see what was happening. Anytime you put yourself in uh, the lion's den, I hate to use that cliche, you got to be on your game. <laughs> so right now we're booking uh, publicity for the United States of Trump. What shows we'll do and what shows we won't do. And my evaluation is when I was doing Fox News, I pretty much do anybody. I went on The View, I went on these shows. But I learned the hard way that that's not so smart. If you get an interviewer who wants to hurt you, why bother? So that's my philosophy. Right. All right. Uh, if you were interviewing Donald Trump one on one, Bill O'Reilly, what's the one important question you would ask him? Well, I get deeply into the Iran stuff because it looks to me like they're setting up a bombing of that country. It looks to me the Pentagon is setting this up. So I think that right now is the most urgent question. So are you willing to go in there and, uh, you know, take out their Navy or take out the Air Force or bomb the nuclear facilities? Now, he wouldn't say, yes, we are. Um, he always falls back on, well, I'm not going to tell the enemy what we're going to do. That's what he does. He answers all military questions that way. But I think your question has to be posed like something like, do you know the unintended consequences? Have you thought about that with the world economy and uh, the Muslim world uh, reigniting into jihad? Have you thought about that? I think those questions are very important. 
And here's a question for you, Bill. Do you see the American public backing a military strike on Iran at some point in the near future? You think Americans will go along with that? Only if Iran attacks our people and it can be proven. So if they launch some missile or if their boats uh, attack American interests in the Gulf, then the American would back it. But there's always going to be a strain that they're going to say, oh, look at Vietnam. That was a, you know, that attack by the North Vietnamese never really happened. And, you know, the false flag stuff. But I think the mass of American people, given compelling evidence that Iran is trying to hurt this country, would back it. Um, let, let me ask you a question I came up with over the weekend, because I just don't believe, I have no faith anymore in polls, and I don't believe the Fox News poll that shows Biden is winning big and Bernie Sanders winning big over Donald Trump and Biden is exploding in battleground states. That's impossible. I mean, I think the odds of that being true are zero, but I want to hear what you think. You think Fox News is right and I'm wrong? He's losing big? Well, I don't know what the Fox News methodology was. When I was working for them, I always knew what the methodology was. So, for example, most of the polls taken now are underrepresenting Republicans. So they're overrepresenting Correct. Democrats and independents in the poll. So they got to put out their methodology. I don't know what the Fox News poll did. But I am skeptical of all presidential polling right now because there really isn't a candidate. So what they're, they're polling is, well, would you vote for Trump or not? That's what the poll is. Would you vote for him or not? And if you're going to have twice as many Democrats slash independents as Republicans, <laughs> it's going to be you're not. Right. OK, so it is <laughs> it is a fraud. It is fake news. Um, but, you know, the media wants to hear that and they don't report methodology anyway. So that's what you get. All right. Uh, great wisdom for Bill O'Reilly, as always. And you can find more in much more detail at BillOReilly.com. Thank you, Bill. Great to have you on. Okay, Wayne. Talk soon. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing news channel. Newsmax TV is now available for free on your smartphone. Just go to your iPhone or Android store and download the free Newsmax TV app. Then you can watch free TV news with an American spin anytime, anywhere in the world. Newsmax TV, real news for real people.